right, we are on Tyrod Perry. Aleph, Mishnah Zion, seventh Mishnah in the first chapter of Mesechet Taharon. We're talking about transferring Tumah from one piece of something to the other. So we, in the past uh, Mishnah, the last Mishnah, we talked about dough. We talked about the idea of, uh, of uh, pieces of dough that were mixed together, literally kneaded together of different Tumah. Now we're going to talk about Mikratzot. Mikratzot are Chatichot Shabbatzek, okay, pieces of dough that are noshchot zobazot. Noshech means they're like they're kissing, they're touching each other. Nosh, and they touch each other in such a way when the dough, when the dough, when you pull them apart, you know, they, they, they kiss each other, they pull on each other. So noshchot tovazot, shein dvukot zobazot, they're stuck to each other. Ve'i efshar lahafisham, you can't pull them apart. Elim ke noshchot zobazot, unless they kiss from each other, they pull on each other. So therefore, they're, almost, they're, not, they're not kneaded together, and they're not one blob, but they're stuck together. So says the Mishnah, Mikratzot noshchot zobazot, pieces of dough that are noshech. Noshech, uh, I think of noshech, like to pull from moshech or noshek, to kiss. I'm not sure which one that is. I'm not a Hebrew expert, but it's a cool word. They touch each other or, and they pull on each other. Viki karim, or pizza, or, 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 um, or loaves. Noshchin zebazet, they're noshech. It's interesting, noshchot and noshchin. Like noshchin or moshchin, they pull from each other. Same thing. You know, you have like rolls, and you bake a bunch of rolls, and they're all stuck to each other. Then the Mishnah says, Nitmeit echat and if one of them becomes tamei bisheret. A sheret is an av hatuma, and therefore, if it touches an av hatuma, it would, whatever it touches becomes a rishon the tuma. Then kulam tchila, they are tchila. Tchila is first, meaning it's a rishon the tuma. All of these dough pieces are considered like one unit. Okay, dechashuvot ke echad, they're considered one. Uki ilu naga bekulam. So all of them become a rishon the tuma in this tray of doughs or the tray of breads. Here you have these dough rolls, right? If it, since these are no shchodzo, but they're one. I mean, here, this one is even more. This is a great uh, example. Festo is dinner rolls. They're, these are no shchodzo. This is exactly one. So there, it's one piece. So you pull one out. And even here, like you see, when, when they're dough, when they're rising and rising, there are no shchodzo, bazo. You pull one out. So if one becomes tame by sheretz, touches here. This, this guy over here, he's a rishon letuma. Perishu, you pull them apart. Kulam tchila. They were also still Rishon because they were all war. They became a Rishon Latuma. Bim Ashkim, if they became Tame by, by touching Tame liquid, Kulam Shniot. Why? Mashkim Tchila Habu. Mashkim are Rishon. Vosim Shani. They become a Shani. Perishu, you pull them apart now. Kulam Shniot. They're, all, they, they're still Shani because, again, your dough, when they, once they, came, they touched the Tame liquid, this guy's a Shani. You pull that guy off, he's still a Shani Latuma. Be a dime, if they're touching a dime, which are, tuma, which are Shani Latuma? Kulam Shlishiot. Then they're all uh, shlishi the tuma perishu again. They separated kulam shlishi. They're all still shlishi the tuma. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day. Maybe we'll see my. There we go. Make it a great day.